kind of want to do a, a, a little open box. I don't ever see nobody show the box and an open box on these Sharps Rifle Company bolts. This is the balanced bolt carrier. Uh, I'm going to open it up. You have to bear with me because I'm holding my phone. So... It's all of it in its entirety in this little box. Did a lot of looking to figure out what kind of bolt I wanted to go with, whether nickel boron or some kind of tin coated chrome, whatever. And ended up going with this devil here just because of so much design features, you know, supposed to be balanced. Got the lightning cuts in the back, you know, a little. Supposed to be a really good finish. Feels really, really slick. I don't know how well the MP3 coating will hold up. I guess after rounds or down range, we'll we'll figure it out. But it uh, you can use it a two, two, three, five, five, six, uh, twenty-five, forty-five sharp, and the three hundred blackout calibers. <clears throat> but. I guess a lot of engineering went into making this thing. I guess that's why they did it with this trapezoid shape. I forget what they were calling it, but the way it's designed in the front, it's supposed to keep it from canting when it's in the receiver. You know, it's supposed to be a little bit more efficient. We'll have to find out. She looks good and she feels good. And you got these tapered lugs that are on the top of it. I mean, if you watch any video, they definitely bring this up. And Sharps was real, uh, real proud of this tapering. It's supposed to keep any debris and minimize jams, I guess. Carbon buildup, you know, it'll keep it from catching on to the rifle. Like I said, this this one here has got MP3 coating here and on the bolt, and then these are just standard. That way you can change them, your gas key, your extractor, and your cam pin. I said so you didn't have to buy MP3 coated or any of that junk. We can just field replacement real easy. But so far I like the looks of it. Like I said, it feels really, really, really slick, especially compared to my phosphate cover ones. Uh, we'll have to get her in the rifle and see how it runs. Pretty happy with it. I think uh, originally the Relia bolt, which was just this piece here, you know, just the bolt that come uh, was ninety dollars. I want to say when it first come out, maybe a hundred and twenty, and then they dropped the price down. I think you can pick them up for around fifty, but you can get the whole bolt for one seventy five from Sharps Rifle Company out of Wyoming. Pretty pretty nice little setup. Like I said, I definitely like the uh, back here. It's a little a little larger, and then the lightning cuts in it. Supposed to run and operate smoother. Don't know for sure. Just want to do the open box. We'll uh, we'll do a little bit more reviews on it later on. Slap some rounds in the chamber. Let's see if it don't uh, don't clean up real easy. But for now, that's all.